What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Dark Frog Adventure. Today I'm down here at this little park way up in the mountains. It's pretty cool. I uh, thought I'd just do a quick little video for you guys today and show you around a little bit. And So yeah, the other night I go, Yemi and uh, Yemi's girlfriend and I went out to Haunted Bandits Cove. It was pretty late. got kind of cold. The weather's kind of changing rapidly around here, so kind of getting a little bit of a cold. But it uh, could be worse. I'm glad it's not. But uh, like I said, if my voice sounds a little scratchy or I'm a little sniffy, I apologize, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm coming down with a little bit of cold, but still feel all right. All that fun stuff. But anyhow, we're out here in the mountains and I'm here at this little tiny park. It's pretty cool, it's way up here in the mountains. You can see some of it around here behind me and everything. I'll show you the mountain side here real quick. So there's the mountain side. We are down right here in the river. There's that little fireplace. I'm gonna go show you that. It's a really cool little fireplace, but as you can see, mountains all around us. So this is kind of like in a little, we are in a canyon, we're in a haunted Bootleggers Canyon. Uh, if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I usually speak of this canyon as the Fur Trapper Canyon and or the Haunted Bootlegger Canyon, which is one and the same. Uh, I explain more of it in some of my other videos, but here's that fireplace, way cool. You see there's somebody that has put some firewood in there and everything, it has like a little chimney up in there. I can't get too far back in there. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool little wood burn. Kind of like a, I guess you could maybe do like a, I guess it'd be kind of like a pizza oven almost-ish. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But then you got this little fire pit right next to it. <laughs> and then you got your bench, of course. And you got river access down here for fishing, which is not the best of fishing, but if you toss your line over there where it's kind of swirling, you can catch some fishies. And then there's some wild turkeys over back here too. I just saw some. I'll put some of that in this video. But yeah, let's go ahead and walk around the park a little bit more. So we got a hydroelectric plant right there. It was built back in 1920, 1930 I think. Not 100% sure, but it's pretty old. I know it's from that time frame somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool little park. Pretty good fishing and whatnot. Right here in the mountains. Good spot for it. Parks are over there. That place there, you can rent it out for gatherings and whatnot. Supposedly it's supposed to have paranormal activity. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I apologize if this video is a little uh, wonky or not full of energy like my videos usually are. Like I said, not feeling the best today. Uh, we were out pretty late the other night ago and it went from pretty warm to pretty cold, pretty quick, and that usually gets me pretty good. I usually come down with some kind of sore throat or some kind of congestion or something afterwards. And it sure is hitting me now, but uh, like I said, I'm not too bad. But most definitely not 100% like I usually am. But yeah, we're just gonna walk around this park a little bit real quick. It's starting to get a little bit dark out here. My camera's pretty generous, so I don't really need my lights or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this park. Maybe we'll see those wild turkeys again. So here's the park. It's a pretty cool little park. It's a pretty nice little open park. Uh, I want to say a couple of years ago, uh, we had a bunch of flooding. This whole little park down here got flooded like crazy. I have that video on my main channel. I did that as like a B-roll extra footage type of uh, videography type of video. That one's pretty cool. Either. If you haven't seen it, most definitely check it out. Uh, I have the link to my main channel in my description of my video. Uh, not my video, but my channel page here. So if you want to see my main page, just go to the description part of my uh, page here and you'll get the link to my main page and then over on my main page you got the link to this page which is cool this is my dart frog adventure vlogs page but uh yeah i'm just gonna walk around there's there's not a whole lot here it's just a pretty cool part to check out and everything but i'm gonna walk over here a little ways show you that over there uh there's some camping over there uh i'll get that here in a second but uh it's like reserve 
So you have to reserve it to be able to get in there. Otherwise you can't just go in there because it's, there's no trespassing, which is okay. You know, it's owned by the city and everything. So I guess they can do whatever they want to do with it. Charge you for it, rent it out, whatever. But like I said, this is pretty cool. We're gonna go here to the creek real quick and check it out and I'll show you this other little spot over here. Yeah, like I was saying before, all this was flooded. It's all flooded back into here. You can see it on my video. I have that on my main page. But yeah, we couldn't even walk down here at the time. There's the other spot where I was telling you about. It's like a camping spot. There's a no trespassing sign. Gotta take that bridge to get over there. It's a reserve spot. So can't I can't really go over there and you know walk around and show you that over there. Because there's no trespassing. So I like to try to keep my videos clean and fun for you guys. Uh, definitely not going to break any rules to make my videos for you. So if they end up being boring, I'm sorry. But more times than not, they're pretty entertaining and pretty fun. So, like I said, I just wanted to come down here real quick. Might go over there across the road and check it out and see what's over on that side. But yeah, most definitely, without being like reserved or invited over there, we can't go over there. Pretty cool little bridge. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, let's see what this sign says. And this is some of the wildlife that we have out here. So there's a moose, panther, um, mountain lion, basic cougar, uh, wolf, rattlesnakes, and bear. And don't kid yourself, they're all crazy dangerous. And believe it or not, we gotta look both ways down this road because this road does get traffic. Oh, look, there's a. Let me get out of the road. Over there by the hydroelectric plant. I don't know if you can see it. He's right there on the road. Wild turkey. There he is, he's foraging. But uh, we're gonna go over here across the way. And check this out by this haunted little porta potty. <laughs> I don't know if it's haunted or not, but it's probably haunted with poo or something. And there's a big sign saying no overnight camping right there. Yeah, I think this is also like a reserve spot too for like uh, day use only. I think there's a sign over here. Let's see what the sign says. There's a little fish in there, he just jumped. I can see him moving around. Maybe a decent little place to fish. Let's see if we can see him jump. He was right in here. See the water moving. Of course, now he's not gonna jump. He just jumped a little bit ago. All right, well, if he jumps, I'll see if I can catch him. So let's go see what the sign says. Oh, it says no dogs allowed. There you go. Looks like it's all in Spanish. I can't read Spanish, but this is definitely bear country up here. But yeah, that's what it is over there. It's a pretty cool little place. It's right on the side of the mountain too. Yeah, so like I said, sorry, this is probably going to be just a quick little short video. I wanted to get out and get you guys a video. I've been doing a few videos on my main channel here lately. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a, a pretty big Halloween investigation over at one of our really haunted spots here in northern Utah. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do it live on this channel, um, but I am definitely going to do some live videos on this channel for you guys uh, with our nighttime adventures and whatnot. Um... But yeah, here at Halloween, we are definitely going to go out and try to do a video for you guys. Traffic. <laughs> That's why I was saying you got to look both ways before you cross this road. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to go out and do a Halloween video for you guys and everything. Uh, like I said, the main, uh, the big video for basically this season should be over. I don't know if it's going to be at the Haunted Cover Wagons, which is pretty cool. I don't have a lot of information. Jimmy is actually setting it up, so... Uh, once Jim gets more information, then I'll 
I'll be filled in type of thing, and then I can fill you guys in. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a live video at either the covered wagons and or like Sherwood uh, Hills. I think it's Sherwood Hills. I don't, anyhow, it's a really haunted place. It's like probably our second most haunted place here in northern Utah outside of St. Anne's Retreat. Um, if you're not familiar with St. Anne's Retreat, check out my Camp Alomia video because that's right next to St. Anne's Retreat. I explain a little bit more about St. Anne's Retreat um, in that video. It's pretty cool. Like in the area where we're at with Camp Alomia, um, St. Anne's, Anne's Retreat is a nunnery. Um, back in the 50s, the land was donated to a bunch of Catholic nuns. And uh, so people drop off babies and there's stories about you know, the nuns not wanting to keep the babies. So, I mean, who knows what the nuns did with those babies if they didn't want them, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that place is really, really haunted. It's been on Ghost Adventures and whatnot. Uh, and we did Camp Lomia, which is like right next to it. And uh, some of the reports out there at Camp Lomia is you hear like trees breaking. You can see St. Anne's, uh, St. Anne's ghosts walking through Lomia uh, from time to time. It's usually from like Lomia to Temple Fork and all the way up to Ephraim's Grave. And if you're not familiar with Ephraim's Grave, most definitely check out my main channel because I did a Ephraim's Grave video. I did a quick little video up at Ephraim's Grave. Um, that was a pretty cool one. It's a, a myth and legend, urban legend for us around here. Uh, like I said, I explain more in that video and everything. But anyhow, I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of start heading back to the vehicle. It's starting to get a little bit dark. And there's some... Uh, turkeys up in there with chickens and stuff and uh that's like the only house out here <laughs> that would be insane to live out here in this part of the mountains there's no reception up here so you'd have to have like a satellite phone even at that it would probably be spotty at best but uh yeah i just wanted to come out and do a quick little video for you guys and everything and let you know that uh we are going to be doing a halloween adventure so most definitely check that out with us well, we're going to be doing a live one, so that should be a fun video. Um, but anyhow, I think I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this video down. If you guys are new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. And uh, go wait for the car to go by. And uh, thank you guys so much for all your subscribes and your views. You guys are awesome. Uh, some of you guys even went over to my main channel and watched some of our live events and everything. Thank you so much for doing that. You guys are awesome. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and start wrapping it down. And uh, I will see you guys on the next adventure.